Iran may be days away from launching a new strike against Israel. Their supreme leader has reportedly given orders to prepare for the attack. Israel has warned that it will strike back harder than it did before and could go after Iran's nuclear program. Chris Mitchell brings us the story from Jerusalem. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei made the decision to go prepare for the attack after reviewing the damage from last week's attack by Israel, according to the New York Times. Iran's top general says the Islamic regime will hit Israelis with what he called an unimaginable response. You can't live in a sea of fire. You are small. You don't even have somewhere to escape. For all of Iran's bluster, Saudi Arabia's foreign minister thinks the Iranians realize how vulnerable they are and fear a full-on fight with the IDF. My sense is that, it, at least uh, on their side, that they realize the risks of escalation and would prefer uh, to avoid it. Axios reports Israeli intelligence suggests the attack could be launched by pro-Iran militias in Iraq and not from Iran itself possibly to avoid another Israeli strike on Iran. The reports follow Israel's second attack on Iran last week. At the time, Israel destroyed much of Iran's ballistic missile production and its air defense systems. One U.S. official said the damage to Iran's air defense system is so extensive it left Iran basically blind. Israel did not hit either Iran's oil facilities or its nuclear facilities in that attack. However, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced at an IDF officer's graduation ceremony that the nuclear sites are Israel's chief concern. The supreme objective that I have set for the IDF and the security services is to prevent Iran from attaining nuclear weapons. Halting the nuclear program has been and remains our chief concern. I have not taken, we have not taken, and we will not take our eyes off this objective. Obviously, I cannot detail our plans to achieve the supreme goal. And while tensions with Iran escalate, Israel is hitting Hezbollah targets throughout Lebanon, while IDF troops are advancing in the southern part of the country. The military campaign is taking place amid talks of a ceasefire deal and questions if a ceasefire could hold. Netanyahu says these talks miss Israel's top concern. The main point is our ability and determination to enforce security, thwart attacks against us, and act against the arming of our enemies, as necessary and despite any pressure and constraints. This is the main point. Thursday was one of the deadliest for Israel, where seven were killed in Hezbollah attacks. The IDF also released this interview, where a United Nations Relief and Works Agency employee described how Hamas commandeered UNRWA vehicles as a form of defense. Their thought process was that when they get into an UNRWA vehicle, then they are protected. Yes, they are safe because it's an agency vehicle. Many see this as more evidence that UNRWA has been exploited and infiltrated by the terror group at its highest levels. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Clearly, they were infiltrated at the highest level. And what doesn't make any sense to me is the U.N. isn't recognizing that. And the current U.N. head of UNRWA is insisting that this organization is clean and, and that they're essential to a two-state solution. Uh, I would urge all of you, please make sure that your elected representative knows how you feel that at the end of the day, we should not be spending any money on UNRWA. We shouldn't be sending money to an organization that has uh, clearly had terrorists on their salaries. Those terrorists under a, a, a charter that says it's it, their, their purpose, Hamas, the purpose of Hamas is to wipe Israel off the map and to kill Jews. We can't support that with our taxpayer money. When, when we're looking at the current situation in the Middle East, uh, some, some of it is, are we weary of this horrible war? And the answer, I think, quite clearly is yes, we are. But Israel is on the verge of a significant victory, one that could literally change the Middle East uh, and, and change it for the good. The ideology coming out of Iran is, is the source of all of this. Uh, they're, they're the source of the ideology for uh, Hezbollah. Muslim Brotherhood is the source for Hamas. 
if there's a significant military defeat where Hezbollah no longer occupies southern Lebanon, where Hamas no longer exists in Gaza, and Iran is shown on the world stage to be powerless, uh, there was a strike. Uh, Israel struck them, and they, and they didn't lose a single fighter. Uh, Iran is clearly defenseless against them. And so if they do launch an attack, what would happen next? Would Israel completely dominate them in a military engagement and show the whole world that they are defenseless and that they're powerless and their ideology has no strength to it? That would be incredible. And that would lead to peace. That is a wonderful thing to hope for. So in her hour of need, let's make sure we're standing with Israel and, and especially we're not funding her enemies.